one in. Oh, is it bad to admit that I was feeling a little bit sorry for myself last night? It was so cold. It'd been raining all afternoon. It didn't let up. Had to put my tent up in the rain, got into it and everything was still wet because obviously there's no way of drying it out during the day when it's been pouring it down all the time. So I blew up my thermo rest and I'm kind of sitting on it as if it's a boat. Because <laughs> even though my tent hadn't leaked, the floor was obviously all damp from the water that had obviously wet all the bottom of my, my tent and my, my ground sheet. And then when I put the rain fly over the top, that was still wet. So... I kind of got dressed as quickly as possible and got into my dry clothes, put my hat on, my fluffy socks, that kind of thing. I got into my sleeping bag, made my dinner and I just sat there, I was like that, oh, <laughs> feeling all sad. I really don't like camping in the rain and the cold. I think you don't mind it maybe one night when you know you can dry your stuff out the next day, but when you know that the forecast is to rain for a few days in a row, it's just like, oh, it's a bit soul destroying. But it wasn't too bad, I did nearly 20 miles yesterday and I've heard, well, I was checking out my plan for today and the first five miles are like downhill and not too bad but then I heard that after that point everyone's commenting that that's when the PCT seems to have stopped being maintained so I have to expect to land on my bottom quite a lot and go through six foot high weeds and bushwhack so it sounds like it's going to be pretty rough now on the way to Canada. I think there's probably about 140, 150 miles left of Washington. So that'll be fun. <laughs> I think I'm about maybe 65 miles away from my next stop. And that's, I mean, I think that's Stahican. I think that's what you call it. Um, I've got a package there. I'm hoping to do a Nero. So at least I'll be able to get dry and get my clothes cleaned. Because obviously I've not done that for a while. But I will try and keep you posted with how things are going today as much as possible, depending on the weather. I'll obviously try and record as much as I can when it's not pouring it down. So I apologise yesterday afternoon I didn't do a lot of recording. But I'm going to keep walking and keep warm. seeing these and I find them absolutely fascinating. It reminds me of coral. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, this is a welcome sight coming up. I knew I'd be crossing this river. And there's a bridge. I am relieved about that.
you can be. Look at all the trees that have fallen down. Anybody answer this question for me? I've been coming across trees all morning with squares cut out of them like this and all different sizes and I've got no idea why. They're not places where signs have been and I'm sure a woodpecker doesn't make square signs but it's been so strange. I don't know if people are taking samples for research or what but it has got me wondering so if anyone knows the answer please let me know. I'm not sure if the PCT have decided that they want to sign up their own, is it hurdling or hurdles team? You know, in the Olympics where you jump over those things. Well, honestly, these trees are all over the trail. I must have jumped over about five or six already in the last five minutes. I just have to think what a head's gonna bring. It's just crazy. There's so many trees that have fallen down on the trail and each one has got its own different challenge. Like one minute you're trying to go over, then you're under. And then at one point I didn't know whether or not to go over or under so I threw my bag under and I jumped over the top. It's just absolutely bonkers. But it's adding a different element to the day, that's for sure. A little friend on trail. Oh, <laughs> little mama hiking the PCT. Oh, <laughs> oh, mama and mama, baby. Oh, bless your hearts. Hey, go on then. Oh, they are too cute. Oh. So 
today has been a tough day. It has been pouring it down the whole time. It's about two o'clock now. It's raining a little bit, but not too badly. So I thought I'll get the camera out and at least try and take a picture of something. And I just came across a mama and its baby on the trail. It was so cute. But I stopped for lunch for about 10 minutes. There's just no point stopping when it's pouring it down. So I had a quick snack and I'm carrying on. So what I'll probably just do today is finish a bit earlier because I'm tired and feel like I need a rest because it has just been elevation nearly all day, climbing over trees. And rather than just kill myself, I thought if I just finish about five, half five tonight, I'll try and get a rest and then hit the trail again tomorrow, I'll probably feel a bit better. But it has been utterly exhausting. I think the rain and the ascent, climbing over the trees, walking over rivers all day, it's just completely taking it out of me. So I'll try and take a little bit more footage, but I'm just walking into more clouds. So I apologize that there's not much to show you at the moment, but if there is something really interesting, I will obviously get my camera out and brave the rain. Thank you. 